Hey everyone, welcome to Shauna's Dream Life. I'm going to be doing a Dollar Tree haul for you all today, so sit back and enjoy. So I have two Dollar Trees in my area, and I went to one today. I will be going back to the other one, so make sure that you stop by on Friday to catch that video. So let's get started. The first thing that I picked up, I'm sure you all have seen before, and that's just this adhesive diamond wrap. And it is located in the floral area most of the time at the Dollar Tree. And it comes in different colors. And I just picked this up for a little craft idea that I have floating around in my head. Hopefully it comes out okay. We may even do that one together. Who knows? The second thing that I picked up is one of the larger round candle holders. I really, really like these larger ones because they have the lip on the edge that keeps the wax from dripping all over your table and everything when it starts to melt. And it's a lot easier to get up off of these large ones than it is some of the smaller flat ones. The next item that I picked up, we've all seen before. We've seen them since last year. I believe they came out around Valentine's Day last year. And that's just these little love decorations. They do have these in silver, gold, pink, and red, I believe. And I never did get one last year, so I thought I'd pick one up this year. It fits my decor a little bit better this year. So I just picked up one of these in silver. The next item that I picked up is this popcorn bucket. It is one of the larger sized popcorn buckets. You could probably fit three bags of popcorn in here. I ain't even playing. Um, I did pick this up for the house. Um, I do stock up on these, especially around Christmas time. They are great to make wonderful little Christmas baskets or birthday baskets. You can do Dollar Tree candy in here with a box of popcorn. Maybe get you a gift card to one of your movie theaters or Redbox. These are amazing little budget-friendly gifts. So these Pick one up, you guys. They come in handy, seriously. The next item on my list that I picked up, I am redoing my coffee bar, and I'm trying to do more my theme instead of just what I've gathered over the years. So I picked up this coffee mug that I found. It was very bohemian to me, which is straight up my alley. I love it has the little dream catcher on the front with little hearts. And it says, you're dreamy, and it does have that on both sides. And on the bottom, it does say that it's microwave and dishwasher safe. So that is a really good find. I'm really, it's over in the Valentine's Day section, I believe is where I found this one. Moving right along, the next items that I found are these little flower pot hugger figurines. And I got the turtle and the bear put these side by side for you guys. Now they do have other um, little figures on them. Um, they are, I believe they had a ladybug, they have a frog, and they have a bee. I don't remember seeing any other ones, but these were my favorites. And I've never seen these before, so they may actually be a new spring item. Let me know if you guys have seen these before or if you've seen any different um, little figures on them. The next item is these cute little owls. This one is lotion and this one is lip gloss, the smaller one. And you just, this is really kind of creepy, but you just twist the head off. As you can see, I've already been in this one. But the lotion, I believe it was shea butter lotion. And it goes on really, really smooth. It doesn't leave an oily film on your skin. And it has a slight scent to it, but nothing that's really overpowering. So if you still wanted to wear your perfume, it's not going to clash with that or anything. 
And these little containers, once they're empty, you can always wash these out and use them for anything else, your favorite lotions. So I picked up one of those. And then the same color in the lip gloss, and this is pear scented. Let me tell you, this is the best smelling lip gloss I have ever smelled. I did not think I was going to like it. I'm normally not a huge fan of pear, but it smells really, really good. So you guys should check that out. I think I've seen these before, but like I said, I don't typically pick up this kind of thing. But I didn't see any other colors at this Dollar Tree. But I will be keeping an eye out for these at the next one. Okay, down to my last couple of items at this Dollar Tree. The next thing that I picked up is this Sun and Moon Stone. Make sure I'm holding it up right for you guys. And these little flames, they have gold glitter inside of it. They're not, they don't move. It looks like it would be kind of a, a water globe type of thing, but they don't move. It has resin or something over the top of it. And I found this. I haven't seen this particular one at my Dollar Tree before, but I've seen similar items. They did have another one with just the sun, but it just, it didn't look as nice to me as this one did. So I did pick this one up. And you'll find this in the spring and garden area that they're setting up now. And for the last items that I picked up, I have seen all over the place. Everyone is hauling these. But I have yet to be able to find one in my dollar store or my dollar tree. So I decided to look for them one more time. And luckily, I found some. I found these. And then I found the gold ones. Now, I am not a fan of how the black shows through these, but just a little bit of paint over the top of it, shine it up a little bit, and I love to redecorate all the time. I like to change things up, so I thought these would be really nice. Let me sit these down here so that I don't blind anybody. So, I thought that I would pick these up and maybe redo them for a cheap, budget-friendly way to redo my living room. And that's the great thing about the Dollar Tree. You can just, you can redo things with just a little bit of money. So that is everything that I picked up at this Dollar Tree. Remember, I am going back to the other one though. So make sure to check that video out on Friday. And if you liked this uh, video, please hit the like button below and make sure to subscribe. If you don't want to miss any videos, make sure to hit that little bell icon and you will receive notifications as to when my next video goes up. Bye, y'all.